Hey friends, good to be with you. We're in Mark chapter 3 today as we're looking at one chapter a day, five days a week. I'm soaping a verse, which stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. Just looking for one verse out of a chapter every, every time and then applying that into our lives. Today's verse for me out of Mark 3 was Mark 3.25. Powerful principle that applies to just so many areas of our life. Jesus says in response to a criticism, he says, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Now, to help show why that's such a powerful principle, let me tell you a quick story. I was in Stanford Hospitals, incredible institution, amazing facilities, incredible doctors and nurses and all the people that support and service so many medical needs and studies. Well, I was there for a hospital for a surgery. And as I was waiting on the patient and waiting on the surgery to complete, I got a chance to walk through parts of the buildings there. And I noticed on part of the building, there was a ramp to get from one part of a hallway down to the next. I was curious about that. It's just odd to like be walking down a hallway and all of a sudden you have to go down into the second part of the building. Well, I discovered from a conversation that the reason that's there is there were two contractors building this building simultaneously, one side versus the other, and when they built it, one contractor somehow was building a building that was a few feet lower on the second floor than the other. You know, building inspectors obviously catch that kind of stuff, wanted them to tear one of the buildings down and rebuild it so that they could match the other. And after negotiation and working out with building contractors and building uh, uh, inspectors, they decided to build a ramp between these two structures down a little bit so they could make it and then finish the rest of the structure at the proper height. I th thought that was an intriguing application. Uh, a house divided against itself cannot stand. When, when you're divided against yourself or your family member or your spouse or your boss or your employee or, or somebody in the community or the mayor, the governor, the president, when you're divided, somebody's going to have to fall. But the best way to solve that is not to command your way, but to figure out a compromise that allows you both to work. The, the best solution in relationship is not winning at an argument, but finding a common ground so that you can work through it together. Now that doesn't take away truth. Just as those two buildings had to maintain their structure, their truth and soundness in structure, that is still true in every other situation in life as well. Sometimes we have to tear down the lies part of our own misunderstandings so that we can be on the same truth floor. But Jesus' point is this. I'm not going to tear down your life in order to get you to match the Heavenly Father's holiness. I'm going to build a ramp to you so that you can be free of your sin and become holy again. That was the cross. The cross was the ultimate ramp built between a holy God and a sinful man. And today, Jesus is trying to make that point with all of us. God loved you and I so much that he was not willing to let us suffer or be crushed or tear us down. Instead, he built a ramp so that we could be made holy again and come into the presence of the Father who is holy. I love this principle for so many reasons. The best way to build an environment that is working together is to come in and find common ground and unity, build a ramp between people instead of being hostile toward them. Maybe that'll speak to you today. Our job is to love one another. And the reason we do it is because of the cross. God bless you as you do. We'll see you again next time.